Hi guys, Tommy Rotter again. Um, today I thought I'd give you a little sort of first peek at Season 8 and what i found so far. We're starting off by going through the new battle rewards. Um, I imagine like virtually everybody got it for free because you had to complete um, some challenges that weren't too difficult. Anyway, kicking off, what you've got is Black Cart and Hybrid 2 tier 1 skins that you get straight away. I have to say I like them both, Black Cart especially, the further on you progress through the skins. Um, hybrid starts having like lightning coming off him and Black, Black Cart turns into a sort of a, oh, one of those skeleton pirate captains like Pirates of the Caribbean. <coughs> What you saw there was uh, Indiana Jones, as I like to call her. Um, you got various things, the usual banners, very nice glider here. A few V bucks as ever. Um, <clears throat> more pets, or same pet but a wooden version. The uh, Clover Contrail picture makes me wonder if Sergeant Green Clover is going to come back on St. Paddy's Day. Wouldn't surprise me. Driftwood. Wrap. Pretty good round cannons. I think you'll see that. Yep. Gives a sort of wood effect. So that's pretty cool. Glider here. Doesn't seem amazing. But it didn't look too bad. I saw someone else using it earlier on a video. Oh, out of interest. That Dancer Conga apparently is the only one where you can walk and dance at the same time as long as you go forward. So I think the idea is they might get loads of lines of conga people dancing. Nice little contrail, looking forward to that. Pickaxe. This all goes with the new guy with the tiger face, that glider. More wraps. Another emoti. Looks alright, we're leading up to... Banana Man! AKA Peely. Very cool. I've seen him in game on some videos. He looks brilliant. Can't wait to get him. He'll be definitely one of my jokey skins. <clears throat> oh, listen to this. I'll definitely be going for that. I ended up buying that Coral Glider, which I didn't get first time round. Just because of the new season theme, the party theme, and the fact. I quite liked it. Music you're hearing now, at least in this part of the video, is the actual pirate soundtrack that you get as part of this battle pass. Again, pretty cool, I have to say. We're getting further up now. What else we got? Ah! Ember. Fiery Hands. I do like her as well. In fact, I like all the skins. There's one little disappointment, but we'll sort of come to that in a minute. Weird glider. I'm sure I might use it for something I don't know. Who knows, could use it with the clown skin. I do like the uh, dog, the pirate dog. I'm not big on pets, but I do like the pirate dog. This guy's got a whole load of out stuff that goes with him and the mask further on. Be interesting. He looks all right, I'll give him a go. Oh, yes, 80s. Obviously I'm too young to remember the 80s, but if I could, <coughs> This is quite cool. I can see myself using this. I mean, overall, it's rather nice, except we get to the end one. Oh, here she is. Lux. Nice skin. I like it. Tier 100. Not so sure. I mean, it's literally just changes trousers and the colours, and that's it. I mean, I keep thinking that should be the tier 1 or. T tier back an old um, black cart the pirate should be the tier 100 but hey ho they're both in there so does it really matter which way around they are nah this is the new screen for your challenges all that kind of stuff black cart see what i mean look at this look what he turns into can't wait there's going to be a favorite there definitely and hybrid you'll see the same thing he sort of changes progressively. That's alright. Look at that. Lightning coming off him. Okay, guys. On to the next part. 
So we're going to be having a quick look at the new locations. So you've got Lazy Lagoon, the Pirate Bay. Um, you've got the unnamed volcano. You've got like a geyser area. And you've got the Mayan Temple area. So, volcano. It's impressive. I mean, I love Wailing Woods. Many a time when I was cutting my Fortnite teeth, I used to sit in a tree in Wailing Woods. Not anymore, obviously. But um, what's replaced it is amazing. And I have to say, that corner of the map wasn't used much. So, you know, you have to give a sacrifice. And that was a sacrifice needed to get this. Look at it. Absolutely amazing. There's the old Ice King's throne there. Not the Ice King, the Fire King. <laughs> Getting those muddled up. AKA the Prisoner. This place is pretty cool. And it reminds me of when they had the cube house where you get sucked up in the air. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But yeah, oh, the lava. If you stand on it, it uses up a tiny amount of health and bumps you off. I think I do stand on it in a minute by mistake, so you'll see the eggs. They don't look like snakes to me. They look like serpents. But there's two out of three of them here. Okay. Oh yeah. There's a few TV problems. Apparently the cars felt like lava and so the pickaxes weren't working for a bit. But they've released um, an update, which was quite big, that seems to have fixed it. Something to do with the coding. Right. Now, this I think is where I accidentally hit the lava. And if you look, I lost a tiny little bit of health. So we're going to follow the, uh, the flow and where it goes now. And it actually goes to the old tunnel near Tomato Temple. The temple's still there, but it's not named anymore. It's it's not quite the same area. But anyway, this flows into the old tunnel. Now, I have been in it. You can go in it, but it's blocked. But you can still go up the little side stairs to the top of the hill. So it's still possible to do that. And this is one of the hot geysers. Vol volcanic geysers that touch down on them. You get thrown back up, but they're only in the volcano area. Pretty cool, though. While I'm thinking about it, there's also a new um, marker system you can use that shows exactly how far away your marker is. I think that's a nod to, uh, well not a nod to Apex, they probably planned it already, but it's similar to the Apex scene, makes it easier to pass on messages. Okay, that's the volcano. So next up we're heading into Pirate Bay as I call it. Lazy Lagoon, which used to be Lazy Links. I have to say, I like Lazy Links, but this is brilliant. You know, it's again definitely worth the sacrifice to get this area. Look at that ship. It's totally amazing. Absolutely stunning, this is. And that flag, the old. The ship flag, that reminds me of Game of Thrones, the, the Pike, the people that lived on the Isle of Pike. I can't remember their names, but the seafaring people, it just reminds me of their flag for some reason, I think it's similar. Either way, the boat's amazing, really big all round inside it. And we've got the old dungeons, there's also a captain's cabin, but I don't think I've got that on here, but that's pretty cool. While I think about it, I have no idea why I'm running around looting. Must be forced to have it. Ah! Right, just watch. The cannons. <laughs> Bit gimmicky, but they're pretty cool. Watch this one. Fuming cannonball, here we go. I thought I'd give you a slow mo. Whoa. And if you can see on the map, look at the distance it goes. And, just so you know, there is no. Full damage. I saw that uh, moose elk on the video earlier pushing this thing all over the place like a shopping cart. Uh, but they are a bit bulky to move around. They also fire cannon shot. But yeah, I don't think you'd be able to sort of take one with you in combat 
on the whole, but they could come in handy. Just pretty cool, I like them. Very piratey. I love this whole theme. I love what they've done, to be honest. Absolutely amazing. Oh, no more planes. I was 50-50 planes. They were good to get around. Sometimes I used them. I don't know. I'm not crying over it. Okay. So, this is the hot geezers, hot geysers. I don't think they've got a name, but a few little lakes. Doesn't seem to be much loot around here. But anyway, it is what it is. And they've still got the, uh, oh, what's it called? Aim robot lookout stations, but without the uh, planes. This is a main village, and it's actually called Sunny Steps. I couldn't remember it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. There's tons to explore in here. I have to say it's brilliant. So overall, I'm loving it. I think it's great. Just, wow. Could be a brilliant season, this. It's looking good. I'm expecting lots of challenges coming up. Limited time, most stuff, because apparently there's a search for the treasure with the Ice King and the Prisoner Fire King and the Pirate Blackheart all looking for the treasure. So something will come up. And there was a post by Epic earlier. I saw it saying about all the crazy cool things are going to happen so anyway thanks a lot guys hope this has given you a taster my verdict is yes it's a winner